Hi, Shalom, Musa and Christ bless. IOIC, Augusta, 15 minutes with the captain. I'm Captain Barnabas, and on my left, we got Austin Nehemiah. We're going to start off with 1 Timothy 5 and 1. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 1. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. So the scripture said, we must not rebuke an elder. We must treat an elder as a father. You understand? Mm -hmm. We must look up to your elder. Uh, anyone at all must look up to their elder with their father figure. Come on. Jump up to verse 17. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. Let the elders that rule well. So the elder, he must have these type of criteria, what, what you understand, for real, what the scripture explained uh, to identify, to let you know who's a good elder. You have to find these things in your elder to give him this type of respect. Read it one more time again. Verse 17. Uh -huh. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. You see that? So as long as he rule well, worthy, you understand, we have to give him some respect. You understand? The scripture say that. It's not us saying that. You understand? Double honor. You know what I'm saying? For real. Watch this. Rule well. Jump over to 1 Timothy 3. You understand? 1 Timothy 3. Start from verse 4. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. One that ruleth well his own house. So this is what you're looking for. That elder, you know what I'm saying? For real. He must rule is always well. Read it again. One that ruleth well his own house. His own house. You understand? He have to start there first. You have to start there first. It's always have to be under subjection. You understand? For real, it have to. You understand? But that, that's a pillow. You understand? For you to say, yes, you're an elder. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Having his children in subjection. Having what? Having his children. So before he start to correct anyone, he have to start in his also he start to start from his children. They have to have respect. Get up every morning. Shalom, most and Christ bless. You understand? Good morning. That's what he have to start from. You know what I'm saying? For real. No back talk, no shaking her head, no, no. You know what I'm saying? That's what a child is supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Having his children in subjection. Having his children in subjection. That's what a real elder do. Come on. With all gravity. With what? With all gravity. With all gravity. Watch this. Come on. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, mm -hmm. how shall he take care of the church of God? That's what you have to understand. You understand? So if you have an elder in your congregation or anyway, and he's not ruling according to what the scripture said, what we just read, no, he's not. Mm -mm. No, he's not an elder. Is not. That's what the scripture said. Read it again. Read it last part one more time. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. How sh For if a man know not how to rule his own house, uh -huh. how shall he take care of the church of God? So listen, this is if you can't take care of those badass kids where you have inside it. Oh, you want to take over? Oh, you want to take over a whole congregation? Oh, you want to rule? Right. No. Mm -mm. No, you, no, 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 no. You have to put your knee in their neck. neck. Can make they, <laughs> make they understand what time it is. I'm not telling you to abuse the kids. Don't say I said. Don't say I said. I'm just said. When I say them knee, I'm talking about you put everything down to make these kids understand. So yes, you is a pop up in this building. Do you understand that? That's what the scripture. Is. Watch it. Watch what Father Abraham did. We're gonna jump in and out. Look, look, look what Father Abraham did here. You know what I'm saying, give me that in Genesis 18 verse 19. Yes, sir. Look what the look what the 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 the, the the, the anarchy, that's what I call him, the anarchy, or the monarchy, what you want to say. Look what he did. Come on. Genesis uh -huh. chapter 18, verse 19. Come on. For I know him uh -huh. that he will command his children and his household after him. So what? It's like when you're in the army, you understand for real? When a general, when a general give you a command, do you do it? Sometimes he will talk so close to your face and spit in it. You know what I'm saying? That's what you have to do with these kids. You have to make sure. Read it again. For I know him. I know him. That he will command his children. He will command his children. And his household and after his him. And his wife and his daughter after him. 
That's what it is. You am saying for real. So that's what it is. You looking for that in an elder. You am saying? Give me that Joshua 24 verse 14 and 15. That's what you're looking for into an elder. You am saying? You can't just get around those just because maybe he, he dressed good. You am saying? And he talk big talk. No. If he can't fit for what we just read, he's not an elder. I want you to understand that. Come on. Read it for me. Joshua chapter 24 verse 14. Uh-huh. Now therefore, fear the Lord. Fear who? Fear the Lord. Many of you fear men. The Bible says fear the Lord. You know what I'm saying for real? It can't be like a boaty and both sides. You have to fear God. You know what I'm saying? Come on. And serve him. And who? And serve him. The Bible says serve God. Serve God, not men. That's what you're looking for into an elder to know that, listen, you will put your life in line to make sure God loves and force anywhere you're at. In the house, in the, the, the congregation where you're at. That's what God looking for. Come on. In sincerity and in truth. In sincerity and truth. That's what you're looking for. Read on. And put, all, put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood. You have to understand that all these things have to come out of your mind. You understand for real? All the loose things what you have in your mind for real. You have to sweep out that first. Come on. And in Egypt. And what? And in Egypt. And in Babylon where we are right now. Read on. And serve ye the Lord. And what? And serve ye the Lord. And serve ye the Lord. Watch this. Read on. And if it seem evil unto you. So if it seem evil unto any one of your kids in the house. You understand for real. Watch this. To serve the Lord. To what? To serve the Lord. To serve the Lord. Come on. Choose you this day whom ye will serve. So what, what, either, either you put your feet down. You understand for real. To make your kids understand, so who, who are you going to serve? Who are you going to serve? Are you going to serve the most high? Or you want to do your own thing up in this building? Read on. Whether the gods which your father served. Either you want to serve white man Jesus. Either you want to serve your birthday, your Christmas, your Thanksgiving. You still want to go and do your royal stuff. If you want to serve that, watch this, come on. That were on the other side of the flood. Read. Or the gods of the Amorites. Read on. In whose land ye dwell. Mm -hmm. But as for me. As for who? As for me. As for me as the elder up in this building. Do you understand? I am the one who runs things in this house. Read on. And my house. And what? And my house. And my house. Come on. We will serve the Lord. That's what you want. That's what you want. Do you understand? You have any bad ass kids up in the house. You put them out. They don't want to serve, put them out. Let them hold the highway as long as they reach. Oh, my God. Let them pack the bag for them. Pack right. the bag. Listen, don't give them no nice bag. Get, get a garbage bag. You know the one that smells like, like trash? That's one. You put their clothes in it and meet them at the door. That's what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how real Ella supposed to react. You know what I'm saying? Give me that Titus 1 verse 6. You see that? So you can play around. You understand? If you want to bring forth the God kingdom on earth, you have to represent. You, if you say you want to be a, 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 a elder, you have to represent what we just read. Come on. Titus chapter 1 verse 6. Read on. If any be blameless, uh -huh. the husband of one wife. You see that? He can't be like, he feel like, say, he's no Dan Dada in the building. You know what I'm saying? He's no second Solomon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Bible said you have to have what? One wife. Come on. Having faithful children. What? Having faithful children. So you have to have faithful children. You have to have faithful children in your house for you to say, is a what? An elder. Read on. Not accused of riot. Not accused of riot. Don't punch no walls and not do nothing up in that building. Come on. Or unruly. And what? Or unruly. Oh, if they're unruly, come on. For a bishop. Must be blameless. Oh, so no. He said, our elder must be blameless. Watch this. Move from that. You know what I'm saying? Jump up to verse 7. Mm -hmm. You said verse 7? Yeah. Where you at? Verse 7. Come on. No, 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 no. Drop that. Give me Second Kings 20, verse 1 and 5. You know what I'm saying? You must be blameless. You know what I'm saying? Bishop, elder, bishop, same thing. You know what I'm saying? For real. Watch this. Second Kings 20, 1 and 2. Yes, 1 to verse 5. Give me that real quick. Mm -hmm. This is the book of 2 Kings, chapter 20, verse 1. Uh -huh. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. 
and the prophet Isaiah, mm -hmm. the son of Amos. Why I go here to show you that, listen, if you ain't ruling your house all well, this will happen. You know what I'm saying? Watch this what, with Ezekiel right here. Come on. Came to him mm -hmm. and said unto him, mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord, set thine house in order. You see that? So you have to set that building, that house where you have in order. If you want to represent to be an elder, your house have to be in order. Your house have to be in order before you move on to the congregation. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? For real. No, no nice talk. And when you, 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 you come out, you, everything is good. But inside, oh, something wrong. No, right. no. You have to fix that thing up. You understand? For because remember, God see everything. You understand? You can't shady us. You know what I'm saying? You can't shady your brothers. You understand? Your sisters, like, all is good. But what about when you said to do this? She back talking or she, you know what I'm saying? The kids have been doing the same thing. You understand? You leave, say, okay, do this, but when you leave and go to work, ain't nothing going on. Oh, no, you better go. You're going to go. You're going to go through that door. That's how it's set up. We done. For thou shalt die and S not live. You see that? You will die if you're not setting up that old soul in order. Your old soul ain't right. Your day is going to be shortened. Right. You understand for real? What do you feel like? The most I ain't play, the most I ain't ever play with the prophets. Then, no, is the same thing. Same thing. We done. Verse 2. Then he turned his face to the wall uh -huh. and prayed unto the Lord. And prayed to God and said what? Saying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee. So now, Ezekiel remember the Messiah. He said, listen, Lord, I walk before you. Oh, I walk, Lord. Come on. Walk before thee in truth. In what? In truth. In the law. That's how he walk in the law. Come on. And with a perfect heart. With a what? And with a perfect heart. No folly. He walk with a perfect heart because he know the God who we serve. He know that God don't play games. You messed up. God will destroy you. Read on. And have done that which is good in thy sight. That's what it is. You have to done the thing what is good in God's sight. You and God ain't nobody. The only time you and God is body when you're doing the right thing. Read on. And Hezekiah wept sore. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass. Before Isaiah was gone out into the middle court, mm -hmm. that the word of the Lord came to him saying, Read. Turn again. Turn again. And tell Hezekiah, uh -huh. the captain of my people, thus saith the Lord, Read. the God of David, thy father, uh -huh. I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. God said, I heard the prayer, Hezekiah. I see your tears. Read on. Behold, I will heal thee. On the third day, thou shalt go up unto the house said, of the Lord. God said, I run a file on you, Ezekiah. That's why I'm going to heal you. Yes, your Oswell is on point. That's what it is. He said, oh, I, I run a file. I run a file on you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yes, your Oswell is right. So listen, I'm going to give you some more life. You know what I'm saying? You finish that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Watch this. Give me First Peter. First Peter chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. That's what it is. God don't play games. God will, God will set you up. Yeah, for real. God will set you up, brother. I'm telling you, you start to find out, oh, I'm so sick. Oh, I got, God said, watch this. You know what I'm saying? For real. And sometimes you don't even have to go do nothing. God's going to try you too. I'm going to try you if you really, really, you know what I'm saying? Fit that criteria to be an elder. I'm going to put you through stuff too. I will seek you and then I heal you. That's what he did with Ezekiah. Come on, read up for me. First Peter chapter mm -hmm. five verse one: mm -hmm. The elders which are among you, I exhort. You see that? So the elder which are amongst us, we have to exhort these men. We have to exhort these men. Come on. Who am also an elder? Who I am also an elder? Come on. And a witness of the sufferings of Christ. And a witness of the suffering of Christ. So listen, this good you elders, all of you as elders, remember you have to go through this. The suffering of Christ, you have to taste a little. Read on. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. A partaker of the glory that shall what? Be revealed. That shall be revealed. You finish too? Verse 2. Come on. Feed the flock of God. You see that you have to feed the flock of God. Who are you going to feed the flock of God? You have to make sure you give them the word according to what the Bible said. Right. And you fix your own soul at the same time. Come on. Which is among you. Which is among you. Taking the oversight thereof. That's what you're supposed to do. Hold that. Give me one more before. I... 
That's what it is. You have to understand, my brothers. You have to understand. That's what you look for. If you're really interested to find a good elder, you have to find the criteria what we just read. Read it for me real quick. Come on. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 24. Read. And the servant of the Lord uh -huh. must not strive. You see that? Read. But be gentle unto all men. That's what it is. That's a true elder. Brothers and sisters, I pray you get something from this class. And, and I told you, brothers and sisters, to stay tuned. More is coming, all right? Shalom, most and Christ bless. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time. Be strong in the Lord!